Hey guys, um, this is the second time I'm making this video because the previous one was a little bit too long, so I'm sorry that I have to say it, but okay, let's go for it. Um, viruses are very annoying, I mean, they are can they are very serious business, I mean, um, viruses can affect your whole computer, um, that's what's happened to my old computer, It's it has 10,000 10, infected files on the drive. And I mean, that's a lot of infected files. Um, so, uh, it doesn't work uh, only in safe mode, but uh, when you run it in normal mode, it, it just sucks. But okay, um, I made a text document uh, or a documentation. I'll post it on the internet so you can read it on your internet browser. Or even you can download it, uh, but you just uh, can copy it and open it in a new open notepad and paste it in but let's get to the point um here are a few steps uh, when you think you have any um, spyware or virus infections on your computer so I'll open up my computer and let's say I'm s I just search for an example infected file audacity okay let's say audacity.exe is infected doesn't matter with virus uh, a virus or a spider this works fine okay so first you have to make sure you have spyware on your computer uh, slash viruses if I then didn't say it again uh, already but okay so it's when you open it and <laughs> you don't have you never have to open up a program that you think is infected so um, always scan for viruses um, with your virus scanner okay um, so when you have uh, when you're sure you have it uh, immediately immediately disable your internet connection so right mouse uh, on this one uh, disable connection or I don't know what's in there it says um, yeah connection a uh, break connection or something I don't know how to translate it um but okay so you have to disable your internet uh, maybe you think I'm very stupid and maybe some of you or people think um yeah what the fuck is this why you, sh you should uh, d disable your internet I mean um the internet will uh yeah y the virus won't be uploaded through your IP okay maybe you th you're right uh viruses won't upload it uh, via via your IP but what if this is a Trojan infected file, or if this is a Trojan? A Trojan will means um, I made a video about it. Uh, Trojans are can be bad, but it's just uh, for a prank virus. Okay, it's nothing seriously. But let's say a license here, license.txt. Let's say I've got my bank account and stuff like that on here in this file. Yeah, it doesn't have to be in the same folder, but let's say I've got a text file on my computer with uh, important notes. Uh, the Trojan will steal it and send it over the internet and send it to the uh, to the uh, server or client. I don't know what. Maybe some people have uh, let uh, other people install the server on it. It's pretty strange, but okay. So it uh, doesn't matter because the point is that it will connect to uh, the other application of the guy who hates you. That hates you, I mean. So that's the reason of disabling your internet. Uh, the second thing is uh, tra trace as quick as you as possible the infected file. Okay, so this one is my infected file. So delete it, select it, right mouse button, uh, delete, or select it, press delete, of course. Um, so if you aren't pretty sure but you think you're sure uh, that the file is um, infected and you have it uh, open but it doesn't start it, you can see uh, here's task manager, you see application and processes. Let's say when you see here uh, like 10 times uh, hello.exe um, you and your computer is hacking like hell, you your computer is properly uh, infected so yeah uh, you traced it uh, if you traced it um, you have to delete it of course okay then you press the restart button 
on your computer not uh, by going start and then restart but really the button that will force uh, sh uh, restart it and then it will say uh, it will come with a message that uh, windows is not uh, uh, shut down properly so it will ask uh, if you want to open it in safe mode uh, because the computer can think uh, about is there something wrong or something um, so it will ask if you want to open it in safe mode so and you gonna choose safe mode nothing more nothing less just safe mode not with uh, command prompt uh, properties and connection or internet connection properties because you have not um, you don't uh, have to or you don't need to uh, open up uh, internet connections or whatever okay so that's uh, the safe mode okay. Okay, so when you're in safe mode, everything is, uh, yeah, everything will look big and ugly, but okay. So, you will find your infected files if you didn't delete it uh, yet. Uh, so, you delete it then, and make sure um, you delete the files out of your um, safe bin, uh, uh, how do you, uh, the uh, recycle bin too. So, remove everything out of the recycle bin in safe mode. Okay, then restart your computer properly by going start and then restart. Ah, okay. So then your computer will restart as it should be. So don't uh, actually it shouldn't um, ask you if you want to open it in safe mode because it should be automatically go into normal mode. If it asks for that, open up in normal mode. Okay, then uh, I highly recommend. Um, to open up your antivirus scan, I'm using Symantec endpoint protection. Uh, I go to scan for threats. I don't know if you're using this too, but it's pretty good. So you go to scan for threats or scan setup or whatever, and you run a full scan. So it can take a while here. Duration uh, it's estimated uh, 30 uh, to two hours, 30 minutes uh, to two hours. So it can take a while. Okay, when it's done, you can enable your connection again. So, um, because um, there's no if there is no Trojan found, of course. Um, otherwise, the antivirus will delete it immediately. I think so. Um, so when everything is okay and you think um, nothing is wrong, uh, nothing is infected anymore, you can just open up your internet connection. And then I highly recommend to restart your computer again because there can be some effects um, or, or even when you don't have any viruses left it can be very slow and your computer can be very uh, laggy and stuff like that so that's the reason why I highly recommend to st uh, start up again or restart again I mean okay so this should mm, this should work most of the time if it isn't I know much about computers so uh, about viruses too um, so if you want to ask something uh, if your computer has a virus and you don't know how to trace it and stuff like that you just uh, email me or PM me I mean because I don't have an email address yet for uh, my name um, so uh, you will have uh, to PM me or leave a comment below and maybe it's better to have <coughs> um, uh, let's say um, you know the name of the uh, of the virus I highly recommend to post that into okay so I really got to stop because it's taking um, uh, too much time so oh wait a second okay I made a a video about coding in batch beginner programming language okay I made a program and it's called batch coder okay I know um, maybe you think it's infected but it isn't okay maybe no it's not infected you can trust me okay I'm not that guy that posts a Trojan on it you can really trust me okay but uh, when you have a batch file and you want to convert it to an exe file uh, don't do that because the exe uh, batch to exe converter has is actually a spyware or virus 
so you nothing nothing is wrong but when you open up the bad to exe converted uh, file it will read yeah you just uh, get flooded of processes like bf b no b2 e dot exe will open like 100 times this uh, scroll bar was just um like this so it started here and then till here so it was a really big process list i think it has to be, my computer has to deal with um uh, 200 processes really much uh, trust me that's really really much okay so i have to quit now so more information any in description and maybe there will be a site link in the description to my site for more, more information so thanks for watching again feel free to comment rate subscriber pm me so thanks again and i'll catch you later